About one of every women out of eight women will develop breast cancer, and this year alone, 300,000 new cases of breast cancer are expected to be diagnosed in women in the United States. That's according to breastcancer.org. You can help fight this deadly disease, and here to tell us how is Natalie Sutton. She's actually the executive director of Susan G. Komen, Central Indiana. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, you've seen this firsthand. Yes. Um, in my role with Komen, uh, I meet tons of breast cancer survivors and also see those families who unfortunately lose a loved one in their life to breast cancer. This is a tough battle that we all face together as a community. We do, and Race for the Cure, this is actually our 25th year, bringing the Central Indiana community together to make a difference in the fight against breast cancer. Uh, so we're really excited about this year's event. Now, this is some video of last year's event. Channel 13 is always so happy to be there to witness moments in the Pink Parade. What is the Pink Parade? The Pink Parade is breast cancer survivors. Um, they do a parade through Military Park up to our stage at Race for the Cure, and it's the first activity of the morning, so it starts at about 7.30 a.m. on April 16th. Now, how does the Susan G. Komen Foundation help breast cancer patients? We help local women today with the early detection of breast cancer and navigating their treatment. So we fund local community grants to support those programs. We're also helping women tomorrow by funding breast cancer research that will improve care and make outcomes more successful. What are some things that we can do as women to start thinking about this issue? Yes. We know we need to take care of ourselves, but many times we kind yeah. of put ourselves on the back burner. So yes. when we're talking about a disease like breast cancer, what do we need to be thinking about? We recommend four steps. The first is knowing your risk, knowing mm -hmm. your family history, knowing those factors that might contribute to your risk, your personal risk for breast cancer, then knowing what's normal for you. So knowing um, your body, being aware of your own body and recognizing any changes in your breasts. Uh, making health, healthy lifestyle choices is also really important. That reduces risk, risk factors. Um, and um, Sorry. Supporting, supporting, of course, because yes. the Race for the Cure is an awesome opportunity yes. to help support those that are going through the battle or recognize those that have lost their battle with breast cancer. Yes, we all support each other and we support those that are fighting now. We support those um, who've been affected by breast cancer. Tell me a little bit about the upcoming Race for the Cure. When is it and can we still get involved? Absolutely. Saturday, April 16th. This, this year is the 25th Race for the Cure in central Indiana. Um, it's a fun-filled morning in Military Park, tons of activities. Um, we, we're out there from about 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., and anyone can register at ComanCentralIndiana.org. And what is the goal in terms of fundraising this year, and how close are we so far? We hope to raise about $1.3 million. Um, I don't know the numbers as of this moment, but we're well on our way, and certainly as we get closer, things just continue to tick up in fundraising and registration. So we really, though, need the support of the community every little bit, make a difference. It's a very grassroots event and everyone can have something to contribute. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you out there on April 16th, just about two weeks away. Again, it starts at Military Park at 9 a.m. We have a link to registration on WTHR.com. Matt?